was summer in the world, a time of plenty in all things. The first people took to the rich sea to fish for their food. All of the first people worked in harmony with one another, singing songs, bringing in nets, all in harmony. So then, how did everybody do? I, I did, well, pretty good. So what about you, Gwai? Uh, um... <laughs> you get it? You get it, Eagle? Hey, who are they? They're our kids. Winatsi, Za, and Weedy. Oh. And who are they? Raven, you know them. That's Weena, Gwai, Ho'os, Abbas, Gwayum, and Iggy's. They came from the clamshell. Remember the clamshell? You found it on the beach. It was full of people. Oh, you're impossible. Well, it looks like you'll keep the hat again, Weena. And I guess we'll never have to worry about Gwai winning it. Don't worry, Gwai. Everyone has a talent for something. Your talent just isn't fishing. Isn't anybody else going to eat? Where's Gwai? He went into the forest earlier, after fishing. I haven't seen him since. He seems to have made a habit of spending time by himself in the forest. Seems strange. What do you think he's up to? Well, since he didn't bring any fish, I suspect he's finding some other gift to bring. Maybe berries? Ah, there he is. There you are, Gwai. Hi, Guayam. Hey, Guay. Hey, hey, Guay. What's that you're hiding? It's... Is it a gift? Let me, let me guess. It's a minnow. Stop it. I, for one, would like to see what he's brought us. This is something I made in the forest. What is it? It's you. Me? I mean, um... You and Raven, uh, made of wood. It's just a piece of wood? <laughs> what kind of gift is that? Thank you, Gwai. It certainly is wood. Yeah, thanks, Gwai. We need more firewood. But... Let's eat. Yeah. Why? Here's your... Why? And Raven threw the light so far that no one, not even Eagle, could ever catch it. Wow! Hello, Gwai. Hi, Frog. Hi, kids. Hi, Mr. Gwai. Hi, Dad. What is that in your hand? Nothing. Just some wood. Let us see this wood. See? Just some worthless wow. old wood. Not everyone will think that, Gwai. 
you'll find that there are those who can look past the wood to what you've put into it. One day you'll understand why. Now, children, would you like to hear another story? Yeah! Very well. I will tell you the story of the sea wolf and how the ocean got her waves. At the very beginning of all things... After the great spirit had created all the world, he looked around and realized he was hungry. He called to all the animals of the world to bring him food, but they could not move in those days as they were still trapped in stone. Only Raven and Eagle were able to move and they spent all their time fighting. Only Raven and Eagle and one other, the Sea Wolf. The Sea Wolf heard the Great Spirit's call for food and answered. The Great Spirit cooked the fish and he, Eagle and Raven, ate their fill. Then with their bellies full, they promptly fell asleep. And out at sea, the Sea Wolf waited for some thanks from the Great Spirit, but the Great Spirit slept on until the Sea Wolf grew impatient. And finally, his feelings hurt. He used his great hands and struck the water so hard that a great wave crashed upon the land, waking the great spirit, eagle, and raven. And that is why to this day there are waves upon the ocean. Sea wolf? Who's gonna believe in a sea wolf? You may not, but someone will. And whoever does, will find a great new friend. Let's go eat. Yeah, right on! <laughs> yeah, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> a sea wolf? Maybe he can help me bring in fish. 